safe and sound Honestly, take it from me I'm better on my own My heart is found a home Oh my god, I can't believe this What is this happening to Kelvin of all people? It is still a shock to me I didn't believe it when my parents told me until I saw him at the mortuary this is really painful. I wish I can take away the pain you are feeling now. Only God knows how his wife will cope without him. Is that what you should be thinking about? I mean, it's not been long they got married. Being a widow in such a young age is the most painful thing ever. It will take years before she heals from such wound in her heart. She's not feeling pain and hurt the way we do. She's not from our tribe. She's nothing but a stranger. Now that she is married to your late brother, automatically she is from your tribe. I disagree to that. She will easily move on with another man, but we can never replace her brother. Why can't you feel sympathy for that poor lady for once? I will never feel pity for her because she married my brother because of money. Now that my brother is dead, I'm sure she's rejoicing secretly. How about Rose? That is not nice to say about a lady that just lost her husband. She married my brother because of his money. I will not give her the chance to reap where she did not sow. Oh my god, not again. What are you doing here again, Austin? Why can't you allow me to rest for once? I haven't been here for a very long time. I stopped bothering you yet, you still feel bothered. Anytime I see you in this house, I know you are definitely here to talk to me about relationship. You have forgotten your father and I are business partners. I might be here for him and not you. If you are here for him, then you are here at the wrong time. He left earlier today, he won't be back until evening. I don't mind waiting for him. Okay then, since you are here for him, I will gladly be in my room. Call me when you need anything. Please don't go, it will be boring to wait here alone. Why not stay and keep me company for a while? I really do not have a problem sitting here with you. But I don't have the strength to start arguing with you about why I don't want to go into a relationship with you. I promise I won't do that. No problem. I'll be going back to the States. Really? But why? Are you done with what you came here for? I was done with everything months back. I decided not to go back because of you. I thought you would give me a chance in your life. Good for you. So you really want me to go back? I have no business with you. You are free to go back if you want to. I haven't seen Rose in a while. I hope the wedding preparations are ongoing. Yes, mom. Rose is not the one handling it. The wedding planner is the one in charge. Okay, that's nice. Something horrible happened to her family these past few days. They are in grief. What happened? Her brother passed away a few days ago. Rose hasn't been herself since then. That is why you haven't been seeing her around. Yeah. Hey, uh, please, my regards to her. In fact, I will call her. Chai, I wish bad things could stop happening to good people. That has always been my prayer too. Calvin did not deserve to die that way. It will take a while before she heals from such loss. I will call her to pay my condolence. But that doesn't mean the preparation should pause. I will definitely pause it if she needs time to heal. You will be the one to help her heal. Marrying her will help her heal faster. Good afternoon, Esther. Good afternoon, Charles. Are you here to see Robert again today? Yes, I am. We have a football match today. I have been calling him, but he refused to pick my calls. He did not refuse to pick your calls. It's just that he's sleeping. And he hates to be disturbed while sleeping. Robert is sleeping by this time. How come? I mean this is just 10 in the morning. I am glad you mentioned the time yourself. This is just 10 in the morning and you are here in someone's house waiting to watch football. Today is Saturday. It is usually the one day we have chance to hang out and have fun. Too bad that Robert is married. It is high time you start hanging out with your fellow bachelors. Robert will be so angry to hear you say this to me. I have been friends with him for a long time, so not even you can change that. Eh, hey, that is what you are saying, Abby. There is no problem. Bet me when I tell you that you will not hang out with Robert today. What have you done to my friend? I know that Robert would never stay by this time of the day. You can leave when you are done. Madam, you are here. I can imagine how happy you were and how happy you will be now that Kelvin is gone. Rose, what are you doing here? Just imagine our audacity. You are asking me what am I doing in my own brother's house. Yeah, this is your brother's house and it is also my house. If you are here to trouble me as usual, then have it in mind that I am not mentally okay for that. I know. 
Ever since my brother started dating you, I knew you had mental issues. That was why you decided to kill him, Abi. What nonsense are you saying? Get out of this house this minute. I'm mourning my husband. Your husband indeed. Shame on you, Anna. You thought after killing him, you would have everything to yourself, Abi? Don't you ever say that to me again. Or else, what will happen? Look me in the face and tell me what will happen. You have no idea what I am capable of doing, Anna. I am warning you. This is not the time for us to do this. Our favorite person left us. We should be in morning mood and not this thing you are doing. Husband killer. What did you just call me? I will call you again. You are your husband killer. Let this serve as a warning to you. I will never tolerate this nonsense for any reason. You slap me, Abby. Oh yeah, wait for me. I am coming. Where is she? Oh, so you are here. Feeling relaxed and relieved that your mission has been accomplished. Good afternoon, Mama. Keep your greeting to yourself. I don't need it. You this ungrateful child. Kelvin took you out from where you were. He polished you to who you are today. I was never in the slum. I was doing well for myself before Kelvin came into the picture. Shut up your mouth! You think we don't know that you married Kelvin because of his money? Tell her. I told her but she was defending herself and she had the guts to slap me. She did what? She slapped you? In which house? My son's house? Yes, mama. She slapped me and warned me never to come to this house again. Can you imagine her audacity? I warned her I was going to report what she did to you. Guess what she said? She told me to go ahead, that you can never do anything to her, that she will kill you the same way she killed Kelvin. What? Rose, why are you doing this? You know I never said anything like that about Mama. I never killed Kelvin. You slapped my daughter, Abby. She disrespected me. Rose. Yes, Mama. Give her two resounding slaps. Let me see what she will do. Okay, Mama. <laughs> Why are you both doing this to me? What have I done to deserve this? I am giving you from now till tomorrow to pack your things and leave my son's house. Oga, you're finally awake. How long have I slept for? How am I supposed to know? It's not like we share the same room, but you've been in your room since morning. Since morning? Please, do you have any idea what this is? This is past 8 at night. Jeez, I've slept for so long. My head hurts badly. What really happened to me? I don't think it is normal for me to sleep since morning till now. It is normal, especially when you hold a grudge against your lawfully wedded wife. Wait, the last thing I remember was the juice I drank. You offered me a juice. I rejected it, but you begged me to take it. So that is your point? Why did I sleep for so long, Esther? What did you put in that drink? I noticed you're tired and you've been hanging out with Charles too often. So I decided to make you have some rest. Did I send you? Did I in any way complain to you that I was tired and I needed to rest? You don't need to complain anything. You are my husband. I know what is good for you. You are just giving me more reasons to despise you the more. Stay away from me. I am not happy with this thing you are telling me. I knew there would be trouble immediately after Kelvin is buried. That is their business. My own is I will not leave my husband's house for anybody. You are my only child, Anna. I will not risk your life for anything. Your husband is dead. It is time for you to return home. Return home and do what exactly? I am legally married to Kelvin. I cannot just live like that because he is dead. You were legally married to him, but not anymore. Have you forgotten the vow you made? You stated that till death do the both of you apart. He is no longer available, so you have to go. So what about the things we achieved together? What about the dreams we had? It is now in my position to make them come to pass. You are quite aware that his family doesn't like you. They hated you even when he was alive. It will only grow worse now that he's no more. This is really painful, mom. I understand you, my daughter. No more wished for any of this to happen. You said your father-in-law is different. Why not try to talk to him? Let me go and see him now. My dear, how are you doing? Papa, I really do not know how I should feel. But well, one thing I know is that I'm not fine. I totally understand you, my dear. This is a difficult moment for all of us. It is not easy. You just have to push through. I just wish Mama and Rose will also understand that this is a difficult moment for me exactly. I wish they would just leave me alone. What do you mean? Are they bothering you? 
You mean you are not away? No, I'm not away. I have been busy mourning my son to notice what they have been doing. Mama and Rose came to the house the other day. They beat me up and gave me serious warning to pack my things and leave my husband's house. Oh my God, I'm sorry about that, my daughter. I had no idea they would do such a thing in this morning period. It's okay, Papa. You're a good man. That's why I'm here to complain to you and to beg you to talk to them on my behalf. I am not in support of whatever evil they are doing to you. I know. Please talk to Mama. They had to stay away from me. They are accusing me of killing my husband. Something I know nothing of. It's okay, my dear. Don't worry. I will talk to her. Thank you, Papa. Papa Rose, you are still sitting here? Where are you coming from? I thought I told you I went to meet my friends. They sent their condolences and they promised to visit as soon as possible. Please sit. I want to talk to you. I hope everything is okay. Now that our son is dead, how do you feel about it? Of course you know I feel terrible. He was my backbone, but now he is no more. Good. So if I also die today, God forbid you. But what if it happens? How will you feel? I will also feel terrible about it. We have been married for a very long time. You are part of my life. If you live today, you will definitely live with a part of me. Now you know how it feels to lose a husband even though you have never been in that position. So why are you bent on inflicting more pain on that innocent girl? Which innocent girl? Are you talking about Anna? Who else married our son? That poor girl is in pain. She is grieving and mourning her husband. What will you gain from tormenting her? Oh. So it has gotten to the point where she now reports me to you, Abby. I will deal with her for that. 